everybody, welcome back to Projects with Paul. Today we're going to see how much my Branson 2515 tractor can pick up. And we're going to use water. I've got a 250 gallon water tote here. And we're going to fill it up in increments and see how well it will pick it up. And it goes all the way up to 250 gallons, which is a little over 2,000 pounds. So let's turn it on and see what happens. That's only about a hundred gallons, so we're going to fill it up a little bit more. We'll take it to the 150 mark and give it a try there. Okay, while that tank's filling up, let me go ahead and show you my makeshift ballot box. Ballast box. Now, I wouldn't use this in an actual situation, but this is just for static testing purposes. So I've got a receiver hitch welded to my box scraper and I've got my old hitch carrier that I've built years ago slid into the receiver hitch and I got four five gallon buckets so that's about 160 pounds of water that carrier is about 80 pounds and then box scrapes around 300 so there's about between 500 and 550 pounds of ballast and it extends pretty far back. Like I said, I wouldn't use this in a real situation, but just for non-moving testing purposes, we'll see how it works. It should be enough to handle whatever this tractor can pick up. Now this 2515 is ready to pick up 2,200 pounds at the pins, and I believe that means right there. So when you get a load out here, of course it's going to decrease some. And I'm using the Titan, Titan pallet forks. They're rated at 4,000 pounds, so they got plenty of capacity, way more than the tractor does. I've got my IBC water tote that I'm going to take down to my property for use it for burning purposes, for extinguishing fires and stuff. I need water to rinse something off, wash off. And I got a built-in rain catcher on it. And it does pretty good. If you get one good night of rain, it'll collect about five gallons. So I got that filling up. I got the ratings here written on the... So that 250 pounds is 2,000 and 250 gallons is 2,075 pounds. And you figure this tote with the catcher it probably weighs over 100 pounds and of course you have the weight of the forks you have to figure all that in so i got it filling up it's getting close to 150 we'll get it to there and try it see how easy it picks it up okay we got water going in got my hose thrown over here in the rain catcher got the valve open Blowing water into the tank. And I don't know if you can see there, it's, you can see the water in there, it's just right above the 150 mark. There's the water line. And I just transferred these marks from the other side where it's actually marked into the plastic. So we're like a little bit above it, so we're a good 1,300 pounds there. Then you need to figure another 100 pounds for the tote and the catcher. You know, these forks weigh 300 pounds, so I guess you could add that in if you want to go to the actual weight. So we're going to cut the water off, set the camera back up, and see if it'll pick it up. Should be okay.
right, let's see what happens. No problem with that. 1,300 plus pounds. You definitely want to have proper ballast on the back. I can feel the tractor bouncing a little bit. So we're going to go real easy with the next, next round. Right, I think I'm going to take it up to the 200 gallon mark. That's 1,660 pounds. Plus 100 pounds for the water tote. And so that's 1760 plus 300 pounds for the Titan forks. It's 2,060 pounds, and I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, I just don't feel like I have enough ballast on the back. I'd like to mention the fact that my rear tires are not loaded. That would help a lot if they were. That's a pretty big tire. Even with the makeshift ballast back here. I'm sitting at about 500 pounds, but four or 500 more with these tires filled would sure be helpful. We'll get this filled up to 200 and we'll give it another shot. All right, let's give it a shot with 200 gallons. With the water, the tote, and the forks itself, that's over 2,000 pounds. So let's see how it does. That's 200 gallons of water. I could feel the back end coming off the ground, so you definitely need to have proper ballast, which I do not. Mine's just makeshift for this video. But the tractor didn't have any problem at all picking up that amount of weight. Matter of fact, I think it'll go a little more. Let me just take you over and verify the gallons. See, it's actually a little bit above the 200 gallon mark. See it sloshing around in there. And 
here's the actual mark on the tank in case I didn't already show you. 250 gallon tank. There's the 200 mark. You see it sloshing in there. Alright. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with the amount of weight this thing can pick up. I think it can pick up more than the tractor itself can actually handle on the back end. So proper ballast is a must along with loaded tires, which is ballast. And there you have it. The Branson 2515 will pick up over 2,000 pounds as advertised. Alright, thanks for watching Projects with Paul. See you next time.